Um, and the last one was, I know we've brought it up on several occasions about having a work session to look at Pillar 1 results and, and talk about the things that, all the things that we're doing um, in terms of impacting the, the plans and the the met and you know impacting the metrics that are in the strategic plan and so I'd, I'd like to we, we've said it several times but we haven't actually acted on it so I'd like to make sure that all board members agree that that's a work session that we would like to have and that we can put it on the schedule put it say that okay yeah we're going to schedule one of those I, I believe preliminarily um, the chief spoke and we are potentially looking at a May date Dr. Lockhart I think we talked about it at the table and what we plan to do there is not only dive deeper into the into the report card but also um, at that time do our annual updates to the strategic plan wherever metrics need to be updated as well as any type of measures that need to be changed okay right. if you remember when we approved the plan uh, we built in I think it was May uh, as the sort of annual update so that was the time when we would say let's look back at all of the things what tweaks do we need to make what adjustments what things right. have we and we have our we control document that will basically yes. identify every time we make any type of change in the next iteration. Mm -hmm. Right. And so if we have that in May, is that enough time for us to, and, and we decide, okay, there's something that we need to focus on, something that we need to do, if there's anything in the curriculum that needs to be changed to address certain issues, does that give us enough time to impact it for the upcoming school year? Yeah, so the answer is yes. And, 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 uh, Unfortunately, um, because of our uh, testing window is now going to be pushed back um, uh, here in the spring, um, we're not going to be, and that's a whole other conversation, we're not going to be getting results um, in some cases to do a measurement of Pillar 1 until probably winter months, December is what we were recently told at the, from the state. So we're going to have, usually we would have our results in, in the summer to be able to provide the September Pillar 1 update. And because of the new, um, new MCAP and the standard new MCAP setting, and standard setting um, they um, informed us last week that we probably won't have any type of solid metric um, until December, per se, or maybe January, oh, about geez. the same time the report card's being released. So that'll probably be... That uh, makes next year challenging. We just got this information awesome. last week at our okay. state meetings. Um, mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of the old MSPAP oh, when you no, got yeah. that date in December mm -hmm. and you started testing in March. Um, it was a little bit, a little bit hard, yeah. but um, that's why we have local uh, assessment measures. And it really does, yeah. Right. It brings, it brings, you know, an emphasis as it should on our local assessments and moving towards more formative measures and those types of things to make sure that we have our measures and we can go ahead and and start to identify the relationships to the to the state test, no matter what they bring. Uh, okay. We'll be able to. Show okay. that relationship, hopefully. Well, certainly we want to take a, a deeper dive on the local assessments and those results, and maybe we we can see where there are differences between the state testing and yeah. and those. And and, you know. and and I know a number of the board members. I know Ms. Herbert talked about also really getting into the survey and seeing how you know it's a subjective measure. Can we get can we pull anything from it? We've spent a lot of time on that over the past couple of weeks and be able to provide that information. So we'll be able to provide a much more extensive overview of the report card at that date as well as. Um, any type of revision, revisions that need to be made to the strategic plan. Okay. Okay. Great. Mr. I will say though, when I've been at those performance academies, you all are really delving into the data, yeah. and I think that's really helping and making people more aware yeah. Yeah. of what's going on. And I hope that we've got the upper hand on that. Right. So. Yeah, I think it's it's been we 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 just debriefed um, last week, and we've had nothing but positive comments um, from. From our, from our teachers, from our administrators, and from our staff as well about the time being spent and being useful time spent that folks can go back to their schools and start you know, putting their own action mm -hmm. um, or revising some of their school improvement plans. Okay, I'll wait for a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right, board members, any 